Yo, what is going on guys? This is Roger from OTR Gamer TV and I've got some crazy good news for everyone that's looking forward to the crew too. You guys can buy houses and apartments in the crew too. Now this just makes the game a whole different level guys. It's real, it's official news. Black Panther's made the video. Um, there's an article made by a Eurogamer and I'm going to put that in the link in the description as well. I'm going to show you screenshots of the article as well. So basically, what they did is, they, um, as you guys can see, I'm in the crew. The first original game right now. I've got my car right there. Now, the apartments or the houses that you guys can buy, it's going to be similar to how GTA works. You buy an apartment, you know, they call them hubs. So multiple players can buy the same house, but obviously everyone will be in their own different houses. And that will allow you to basically go in your house in first person, right? And go to your garage where you guys can look at your cars in first person, up close and personal. Similar to how Test Drive Unlimited 2 used to do it. Now, if you guys don't know what that game is, it's basically a game that came out on PS2 way ahead of its time, guys. Way ahead of its time where you're able to buy your houses, buy cars, customize your houses and your characters. So you're able to customize your character similar to GTA and similar to like Sims and that where you can change their face, hair and everything. Now, the crew, I don't know about the characters, I know you can change them up, but I don't think you can, like, tweak them as much as um, a GTA or Test Drive Unlimited, but there will be a few tweaks, everyone's character will be different, you know, like different skins like in Fortnite, but going back to the houses, I don't think the houses are customizable yet, so everyone will have the same apartment. Similar to how someone buys a shitty apartment in GTA, the interior will be the same in all the shitty apartments unless you buy the high-end ones. But what Ubisoft, I think, will do later on in the updates is actually allow you to change the interior because that will just make them even more money, guys. Just imagine, like, it's a good business point of view for them as well. So allowing you to change the interior, the color, the decorations, the furniture, you know, and that requires money. And obviously making money in the crew is, is easy if you know how to do it. So if you can see, wait, let me show you my money, bro. So there you go, you guys can see I got 5 million, 5.3 million, and my money goes up every single day in this game. Now, I don't think it will make it as easy in the crew too, but going back to that, that idea of houses in the crew too, this is all I want to focus on guys right now. Just imagine what we can do playing the crew too now. Imagine driving around, so this is my house here, I'm inviting Omar and Trixie, I'm inviting my subscribers, I'm like, yo guys, come chill out my apartment, you know, I got a pool down there, I've got... You know, I got this, come inside, see my house, see my garages, you know, I can invite them inside my garages. I don't know <clears throat> if you can invite other players to the garages yet, but it's a very, very, very good chance that they would include that, even if not in the beginning, later on in the updates, because the whole point of the crew too is trying to create a, a community of racers into one platform. This what this game was about anyway, trying to get everybody in one platform to play and join each other. So the crew too, Allowing people to buy houses is just crazy, guys. I'm going to show you some um, articles showing this so you guys can really solve the full thing, but I'll show you little snapshots of it. And it's crazy. Like, all I'm saying is just like, wow. You know? Like, imagine this is my house and the crew too. You know? Big ass house over there. I invite the boys come over. And the best part is, guys, you can buy houses all over the crew too. It's not just one place. So, so right now, where are we? We are in... I think we're on top of Chicago right now. Yeah, so you'll be able to buy houses everywhere. I'm talking about Miami, New York, uh, LA, Vegas, everywhere. All of this map, there will be certain hubs. They call it hubs, guys. Basically, like, sections where you're able to buy houses, right? So I'm in Chicago. I'm like, guys, let's go cruise to my house. Or Trexy, or one of my subscribers will be like, guys, let's go cruise to my house. And I'll show you my cars. Now, this, this basically takes the game to a whole new level. Just imagine what they can do with it. They can make a whole social implement on the game where it's no longer just about racing motorsports it's got more it's like there's there's more elements to it now you know the customization of the cars houses characters is beyond everything you can imagine guys like it will be different it's they can build upon it so much to make the game crazy crazy good one other thing i um i was reading for the article is like say for example you're staring out the window of your apartment right and then you're looking out the window and let's say you can see this roll right here so let's say let me go let me find another house so let's say i'm going back to the house right now so say that's your someone one of my subscribers house on the left right they're standing looking outside the window and i pull up in the car like this. i pull up like this inside they can see me driving past while they're inside their house 
Just that's insane, guys. Like that's basically what happens now in GTA when you're looking at your apartment. If you can see the road, you can see that. If someone flies a Hydra into the window, you can see that. Like you can see them driving by, flying the plane by. And I think if you've got a rear view of, because obviously there's boats in the play, uh, in the game as well. If you've got like a rear view, you can see if your house is next to the docks or next to the sea, you can see boats. You can see people racing in their boats. Now the only thing that I need to research more is can be in one lobby, right? So at the moment in this session, or in this game, you can only have a maximum of eight. Right now, I'm not in my session right now, so thank God, yeah. But you can only have a maximum of eight people in a session, but only four people in a crew. Now, we at OTR Gaming TV found a way to get all eight into one, but still eight people in a game that's this big is not fun, you know? You want at least in one little area, at least 16 players, guys. Just 16 players is much more fun, you know? 16 players in one little session is much more fun. Imagine cruising to 16 people's houses and checking out their cars and houses and they... It'll be crazy. It'll be on a different level. It would just be too much, you know? So like right now, I'm cruising to Omar's house on the right. You know? Not as good as ours, you know? I'm sorry, Omar, bro. You know, you, you gotta step up your game, man. Me and Trixie are living in mansions and Omar's living in this house over here. Come on, bro. You know? But, yeah. Like, I'm gonna show you the article as well. I keep saying that. The article's me below. Look at the text below in the articles. Let me read some stuff from you from the article if I can find it. But it's crazy. That's what I'm gonna say. Let me just find this article, guys. Give me one second. Okay, so I found the article. There's two articles. I'm gonna include um, the Nobeds, which is Black Panthers, aka Theo's article. And then there's Eurogamer, which he linked as well. So it says, among the crew choose quiet touches are its hub spaces. This is what I'm talking about by the apartments, guys, yeah? So there's sprawling apartments and custom garages where you can wander around in first person so you can walk around your apartment in first person similar to test drive unlimited 2 right the only game to actually do that and you can walk around in first person inside your garages so no longer just me going here to mobile garage and putting out a car which i still like this feature is good like i don't have to go to the garage consistently to get the car out but if i want to see my car properly i can go to the hq and pull the car out or if I have all my cars lined up like in like in GTA, just walk around my cars and be like, yeah, that's my car right there, you know? Um, yeah, so it says, where you can wander around in first person, drooling over your shiny hot rods in your possession and fiddling with their innards. So I think customizing your cars inside your your garages instead of going to like a tune-up shop. Actually, no, I think it's similar to the HQ. So whatever you buy for this car, whatever I have for this Lambo, like rims and that, I can go back to the garage in the crew too and change it up similar to how I can do it in the HQ in this game. Um, and it says there appears to be one of these hubs for each major city. So as I said, there's going to be a, a hub in each major city. So maybe not in every every place. So major cities, so Miami, Vegas, LA, New York, maybe some, one in the Midwest. So maybe some of one, one or two. So let's say one, two, three. Maybe one in the mid, mid four, five. Maybe, I, I'm thinking about six hubs. So one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe one here. There has to be one here. So eight hubs. About eight hubs. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Yeah. So there appears to be one of these hubs for each major city, and rather bill brilliantly, they have a real-time presence in the world. So it says gaze out across the new york coast as the sun rises and you might spot a few of your friends online so as i said this earlier guys when you're looking at the window if your friends are driving by or flying by or whizzing by on a boat you can see it you know that's that's a nice feature that that makes the game a bit more realistic only problem i'm still thinking is if there's only eight people in the session it's dead i'm telling i'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys look I'm, I'm playing this game on my own there's nobody in my session there's nobody here like why why am i here on my own you know where's everybody at so let me go back to my session there's one guy that I just joined look look at this now i don't know where he is so literally one guy has just joined my session i thought it was a nice house over there. let me go back this way um yeah gaze out new york da, 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 da. yeah it's the mark of a game that has learned to sa uh, save you the spectacle spectacle of itself even as it automatically translates to that spectacle into points and parts. A game that has set aside time to relish its own liveliness. The Crew 2 is probably more of a reboot than a sequel. So what I think is guys, the Crew was 
a way for them to compete with Forza, right? So you've got cars, you've got friends online, you've got this, the biggest map I've ever seen in my life in any game, in any car game, in any game period, right? And then what they did was they tested it out, featured it out, and then they asked the fans what they want. Developers looked at what they want, looked at past games. So customization wise, they looked at, um, I'm hoping they're looking at Midnight Club, but I don't think you can go into, into into vinyl details like that. Like you can't put on custom decals in there, which is fine. You know, which is fine. That's calm with me, I'm not, I'm not like my car's got no decals on it because the decals in this game are pretty shit, right? But they tested out what, what's working and what's not. So once the crew was over, they found out success. They still made the money. And the crew 2 is going to be a whole, it's not going to be a sequel. It's going to be a whole different game, guys. A whole different level. Like, oh my God, I can't wait for this game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if you think adding apartments and houses is just, it's just what they, what you want. Now I can't wait to buy this game. I want to grind the game up, buy the cars, buy the apartments, invite my friends over, invite the subscribers over, do a car meet, do a cruise to each other's apartments and it'll be crazy. I can't wait for this. But I'll link you the, the, the articles, both articles in the description below. It's crazy. That's what I'm going to say, guys. Crew 2, houses, I'm looking forward to it. Guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure you let people know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button and notification button if you want to join us in the Crew 2 for more info on that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.